Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks so much for joining today. I am going to show you how to basically do a slider. So it's super simple. Um, and I promised that I was gonna do this a while ago and I haven't, so I, apologies. <laughs> so anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate it, but let's get started. So basically, I want you to think of it as, oh, so we're using these perler beads. These perler beads are nice because it's small enough that we can, and you can see like how thick they are. So it's, it's they're small, maybe about a quarter of an inch. So it's small, you can put something on it and it'll swivel back and forth. So what you wanna do is, for instance, let's say that um, you're building a cake topper, okay? This is a very small cake topper, but just imagine that, you know, it's one of our cir circle ones, um, which, ah, uh, let me see if I have one right here for you. Um, and amazingly, I don't have a single cake, oh, I do, oh, sort of. Actually, I do have one right here. So this is sort of the same thing because this, oh, there, here we go. This swivels, which is kind of the same as this, right? So the way you wanna build this is, let's pretend, like I said, we wanna build it on here, right? So, and we're gonna put this little umbrella on top and this umbrella is gonna swivel back and forth like this, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna cut a hole here so that this can fit um, in it and move easily, okay? So let's say we're gonna cut, um, get my knife out. I'm just gonna cut a little square right in here. Now you can either slice out a particular shape like I did over here, like I, you know, we have a whole space right here that I can go back and forth and it can swivel back and forth. So if this was Isabella, she could be swinging like this just like she is here, okay? So I'm gonna cut out. You wanna cut out, here's the secret to this, to this cutout. You want it big enough so that when you put this perler bead down, and I'm using colors so that you can see it, hopefully. I'm gonna put it on this one because it's a little bit easier to see. I want this perler bead to have enough room to move and not get glue stuck anywhere but you don't want it so big that it's hard to hide it, right? You, this hole needs to be small enough that when I go and put my umbrella on top of it, that it will cover the whole thing. Or you put bigger pieces, like you put this humongous flower on it, right? This one's actually a bad example because it is kind of small. Um, but anyway, um, and this is kind of like, when you look at this, it's gonna be hard to put glue down just enough where it's not gonna get, um, it's not gonna touch anything, but, um, okay, so this is what you wanna do. So you're gonna have a piece, a back behind it. You're cutting a piece on top. So this is the back of your cake topper. I'm sorry, I know, I feel like as I'm talking that this sounds really complicated, but what you wanna do is you wanna cut another piece of paper, okay? So this piece of paper has to be bigger than your hole, okay? So something like this, okay? Because it's gonna go behind here. Your perler bead is gonna be glued to this piece, okay? So I just turned on my glue. All right, here we go. We're gonna glue this down to the little piece of paper, okay? While this is drying, and you don't want the glue everywhere, you want it just kind of around the perler bead, okay? And let me pull that up so you can kind of see it better. So there's glue around because I want it to stick. So what's gonna happen is when this dries, you're gonna put you're gonna put it in between your pieces like this. And then we're gonna glue this down so that this piece right here, you can see it can swivel back and forth. Okay, so. And you need this backing so that it will keep this in place. I'm 
I apologize. Like, I feel like I sound awful right now. All right, so now I'm going to put glue on top of, you want just enough glue. I'm going to put glue on this thing. Just enough glue so that it will stick to the perler bead, but that it's not going to drip down, okay? So now that it's in there and this is stable, see how this swivels back and forth? That's your Isabella moving back and forth. So, so you see how this is coming out? Let's say our backing is going to be the same size as this circle. I know it doesn't really fit, but <laughs> let's say it's like that. So this is gonna swivel back and forth. And you see how like this paper is coming out? That paper has to be, it just has to be smaller than your smaller than your big piece than your background, but bigger than that hole. So that, cause what will happen is if this piece of paper is too small, it will just fall through the hole and then you won't have anything to hold it. So right now, let me put it on its side. You see, that's that's what it looks like. You have this little piece so that it can twist. Okay, so this piece here just needs to be hidden by this piece, but it has to be bigger than the hole you cut out. So <laughs> I feel awful trying to explain this right now. I hope that that makes sense. Let me cut this some more so that you can see it. All right, so now hopefully when I'm twisting this, you won't really see that background. Yeah, you can still see it a little bit. You see how it twists back and forth? So once it's on here, when this is, and when you glue this piece to this piece, do not glue it where this will get stuck. So for instance, like this, you can glue all down here and that's gonna be enough. I'll do it right now for you to see, okay? So we're gonna glue just the bottom half because the top half, you don't wanna get the glue in there where it, where it, um, it holds down the movement, okay? So this is now all one piece, right? But there's no glue up here. And see, this will still move. This is not gonna fall out. Just like this, same thing. Okay, and just like this, this one goes back and forth and it also twists. They're all on perler beads. And you, on this one, you can kind of see my little piece, right? It kind of sticks out a little bit. Um, this one is actually a perler bead on a penny because the penny is really smooth and it doesn't go past this, this piece. All right, I hope that that makes sense now that you've seen it. Okay, so you need a piece for the perler bead to attach to. And now it can swing. If I had made like a um, like a little arc, then this would move. But I only made a little rectangle right there, right? like a little square, so it can only spin. But if I had um, cut out a track, then it could swing, um, it can swivel and move along the track, if that makes sense. All right, and see how this is totally open? But look, because this piece of paper is bigger than the hole, this will not fall out. And usually the swinging piece, it's pretty light. So as long as you have enough stability, enough glue, this will not pop out. So you can see, like, it's not going anywhere. All right, that's all I have for you. I hope that was helpful. And I know it was... I had just read a comment that someone was waiting on this to make their cake topper. So it's posting tomorrow. I hope that, like I said, I hope it was helpful. I appreciate you guys following comments, questions on any of the post channels. I do try to read them all and we'll get back to you. All right, have a good night. Bye guys.